proceso para la firma de una, un convenio de colaboración para precisamente usar esta plataforma con las redes de tecnología celular, sobre todo que esperamos que el próximo año pues ya esté desplegada la red de Narroban IoT. Estas son eh, las líneas de manufactura con las que contamos. Les comentaba que nos dedicamos al diseño y la fabricación. Entonces, eh, para que se den una idea, con estas líneas gemelas de SMT, de ensamble SMT, tenemos una capacidad de, tomando de referencia una placa de Arduino 1, poder ensamblar hasta mil en un día. Este, esta es la segunda planta donde tenemos un, un espacio, un área de, de aproximadamente eh, 500 metros cuadrados, donde se pueden tener hasta 50 personas, obviamente con las medidas respectivas, en donde se puede hacer pues, un proceso de ensamble, eh, pruebas, eh, eh, pruebas funcionales, pruebas paramétricas, eh, control de calidad o incluso al proceso, el proceso de empacado o del empaque final. Y comienzo por esta parte. Eh, les comentaba en un inicio que debido a que Jesús, debido a que hoy en día. ¿sí? Discúlpame la interrupción. ¿Podemos hacer el switch a, a inglés entonces, por favor? Claro, claro, Muchas claro. Gracias. Okay, so uh, I was explaining about that today in Latin America. It's really complicated to integrate hardware prototypes. Um, on the slide that, that you are showing, I, I, I put an example about how difficult it is for most people or engineers that, that try to integrate proof of concepts. I mean, based on um, hardware uh, open platforms like Arduino or Raspberry Pi. So if you see it, Uh, nowadays, there is no there is no a, a standard. I mean, for hardware the, uh, breakout boards or sensor boards, and it it's really complicated be, because most of the time we finish doing this, and it's um, really hard because you know it that if any wire of this or proto board or something like this uh, breakout board uh, it failed or is disconnected, then all the project. Uh, failed, so it's it's really complicated. In 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 my opinion, I think this is uh, the the main um, cause that that in, in in Mexico is complicated to integrate all this or uh, implement IoT projects. So thinking about how we can solve this this situation, uh, that during the last year we start to think about how we can. Um, probably not to design a standard because, uh, as I told you, exists a lot of these. Uh, for example, one of the um, um, proposals on the on the electronic market, uh, I mean, uh, for, uh, the companies uh, electronics that offer breakout boards. Uh, uh, there is Micro E uh, from Serbia, and it, I really like this company because they uh, today they have more than 1,000 click boards like this one. And if you see it, they they design or they um, yeah they design uh, around 12 years ago this standard the, the name is Microbus. Then as you see it on the screen they uh, decide to choose one of the representative signals when you are going to implement a project and they decide to select one uh, ADC, one PWM and one of each more representative um, these um, lines to, to, to implement hardware projects. So uh, the result is that you have these small breakout boards uh, like a small block that you only need to put an insert on the on the on the socket, and that's all. You don't need to put cables or use um, sol or, or need to soldering or something like that. And I really like this, but uh, on the other hand, there is a spark phone, and uh, around six years ago they implement this standard. The name is Quick. And it's based on the I square C protocol. And as you see, it is really easy to connect a lot, uh, several um, breakout boards or um, sensor breakout boards or uh, LCDs or actuators. And as you see, it all is connected, is, is uh, chain chainable, and 
you need a master board to control all these uh, uh, devices uh, using the, the serial protocol I square C. So thinking about how we can, um, uh, on, uh, at, at first I, I think about to design an, another another hardware breakout board standard, but uh, I think there is a lot on the mark in the market. So um, we think uh, how how could take the most um, representatives uh, standards or, or or protocols, uh, and we choose this uh, micro and quick from Sparkform, and also try to think about that. We maybe we could integrate an extra controller because uh, nowadays microcontrollers are, are very cheap. For example, this is the case of the 80 tiny from 80 tiny MCU from microchip. Uh, you can get it from at least uh, from from half dollar. So this is how we think about to create Excite pro platform. Is the result that to add. Micro E standard from Sparkform Quick and one uh, or these 80 tiny microcontrollers from, from Microchip. And what is Excite? It's a, it's a hardware cross platform that we designed to integrate IoT solutions um, in less than 24 hours. Um, we can offer, because we design and we assemble here in, in Mexico, we can, offer, uh, we, we can offer affordable costs for, for Latin America. We also offer local technical support and, and, and also the, the guarantees. And we are we are uh, uh, working to implement or designing a website where you could find several examples about how you, you, you how you can implement all these projects, not only the hardware part. I mean, uh, since the hardware, the carrier, in this case, we are using um, um, cellular networks because our partner Telcel and also Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and but, all, but, 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 but we are showing how you can you could create uh, in, in the application and also the IoT platform on the cloud in the cloud. So Excite has uh, two parts. The first one is the X node breakout boards. This is one X node breakout board and it, as you see it, it is it has uh, at, the, at the top, you can find a, se a, a sensor, an actuator, or a transceiver. Then uh, we put here a slider, uh, and with this slider, you can change between 3.3 or 5 uh, DTL logic voltage because most of the time it's really complicated. Because when you use, for example, a traditional Arduino, or uh, you know that you need to use 5 volts, but if you use, for example, a Raspberry Pi, you need to change to 3.3 volts. So most of the time it's a little bit complicated to install or, or um, adapt level logic voltage. So in this case, we add this uh, function and you, you only need to, to uh, change the position of the sliding switch and that's all. Uh, on the other side, we have an, a small ex a, a external port and this port is uh, if you want to, if you, if you need to get the, um, the natives uh, signals or, or, or outputs or inputs of the sensor actor or, trans or transceiver that you can find here, then you can uh, do it by here. And also in, in each X node, we put here the model. I mean, in this case, we are using a microchip temperature sensor, then we, we, we put here the, bar the, the kind of variables variable then you will find the an identif identificator or, or id here of e on each x node and this is the small microcontroller that that we are adding on on each x node uh, this is an 80 tiny microcontroller board and we 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 choose this because there is a lot of a lot of options that you can use. I mean, to program the microcontroller. In this case, you can use Arduino or XCA. This is a, 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 is a C compiler from Microchip, or even you can you can use the Micro C uh, compiler. And you can find here the the small connectors, the quick connectors from a smartphone. This means that you can 
uh, send information or get information using the I2C protocol, serial protocol. And on this in, in, uh, on this side, as you see it, uh, on one half of the X node, I mean this, this part is the same like microbus, st microbus standard. So this, um, on we are using only from this microbus standard, also, the I square C signals protocols and and or the UART UART serial protocol. And this is the second part: is the um, X board. X board means the expansion board, and as you see it, it has five sockets where you can put it until five X nodes. And you don't need any special tools. Not you, uh, as you see it, you don't need uh, cables or or need to solder. You only need you, you only need to take the X node that put with you with your hand the same as uh, a, a Lego block and that's all. Also, the expansion board has these two quick connectors. This is because if you need to connect more than one expansion board, you can do it only um, connecting from here's a quick standard connector to the other uh, expansion boards. And this is how we can how how we can connect the X nodes and the expansion boards. And this is the first one. Mm, as you see it, you only need to use a small uh, cable, quick cable, and connect from here to here, and that's all. The EDX nodes are communicate, and you can do it with the next X node. Uh, I need to be clear that this, uh, if you connecting with using quick, you only need to you only could access to the sensor or actuator. Uh, using I square C serial protocol. And the second part is the second mode is uh, when you put your X nodes uh, on the expansion board. Uh, you only also you only need to insert, and when you do that, you could communicate all the X X nodes uh, using I square C, but also uh, your protocol. Uh, the, 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 the number three, uh, what happened if you already in, have inserted all the X nodes, the five X nodes on, 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 on in the first level of the expansion board? There is no problem because as you see it, each X node has a female, a, a couple of female headers. So you can insert another or stack another X node uh, at the top of the first one. So you can connect the second or you can uh, put another five X nodes and it means that you could have a second level and also you can put another five and have until third level, which a total of 15 X nodes. And the last one is if you are a little bit more expert on hardware and you want to uh, interconnect with um, a specific design or a special uh, peripheral, there is no problem. You can use the X nodes uh, connected in, um, uh, with, uh, as you see it in a protobor, and you can get the signals from here, the rows of the columns of the protobor, or, or from here, or even from the females connectors. And as I told you at the beginning, our uh, we are focusing on and to find how to interact with all um, more demanded plat platforms, hardware platforms in the world. And the mean about this is what happened if I if I if I want to use a micro micro bit board uh, for my project. It's a little comp it's, it's it's too complicated because if you see it, there is an special um, header, special connector, and it's, it's, it's not common to 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 find uh, accessories for this. Neither if you want to connect, for example, um, a, a, a breakout sensor. Uh, so for this, as I showed you, the in this case our expansion board. We take off a couple of micro E, I mean the number five, four and five. We take off and insert or put a, this uh, header compatible with micro bit board. And you only need to insert the micro bit board, and then you can also insert the X nodes, and that's all. Um, 
It's because each X node has one microcontroller integrated. You can download the, its own driver. I mean, if you, uh, for example, if you are using a pressure sensor, you can look in for the driver in Arduino. Then you can download. There is a two, two, uh, two option. You can download the bootloader from Arduino here and then uh, load the sketch, the Arduino sketch. And in uh, after that, you will um, this sensor will be controller uh, uh, for this microcontroller. So when you insert the micro bit board, you only need to send a very um, very uh, few strings commands. Uh, for example, if you need to read uh, pressure, you only need to send the uh, X node ID that you can find here, and then a very very uh, simple command. Uh, in this case, uh, uh, it's, it's an example, a P letter. Uh, later, I am going to show you the um, commands, the, the, how you can send this very um, in, the, in a very easy way, this, all these commands to get the, the variables. So you only need to put this small uh, string um, text, and that's all. Because um, the microcontrollers is doing all the job that most of the time you need to uh, integrate in, in one sketch in Arduino. You need to find the driver for a pressure sensor, for a temperature sensor, or, 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 or any other um, kind of sensor. In this case, you are uh, loading the uh, individual driver. So you only need this command and you immediately get the temperature and you can answer to the micro bit with a um, uh, ASCII standard format. You don't need to convert binaries or hexadecimal uh, formats. You will you, you get uh, the answer, and uh, for example, uh, 20, 23 um, temperature, 23 grades uh, centigrade sensor, and, that, and that's all. Uh, for example, what happened with Arduino MKR? The same, the same thing. Uh, Instead to use the micro the, the, the micro bit socket, we uh, change, we took off and put these adapters for uh, Arduino MKR format. And, and it's 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 very practical because uh, what happens if you are uh, if you start a project, for example, using a micro uh, uh, this is just an example, a micro bit, but then you note that it's not possible to do some special task because probably the processor is not enough. So you only need to change because the expansion board have the same format, only need to change. Probably you also install, um, I don't know, maybe in, in, in the for your customers. If, if this happened, you only go, you need to go take off the expansion board and put the new the new one. Only uh, take off this uh, a couple of screws and that's all and, and install the new expansion board. And now you can use an Arduino MKR that is powerful than, for example, than, than micro bit board. And the X node you only need to take off and then put again. And that's all. It's on. You only need to send these uh, small commands to get the results for each X node. Uh, remember that you can uh, insert more X node at the top of this. Uh, so in this case, we could have uh, until three ro uh, rows with a three X node each one. Um, and the same thing. What happens if you, at the end of the day, your customer or your client needs, uh, for example, a database? It's not possible most of the time implement databases with a microcontroller. So in this case, we need to switch for a microprocessor. So this is an example. Uh, a good option is, uh, or most of the, the most common that uh, we use for a proof of concept uh, projects is Raspberry Pi boards. So the same thing, we only need to change with the same sizes, the same for the same format, the expansion board. And we only need to insert Raspberry Pi. These are uh, boards, expansion boards are your examples because we have more different model for other platforms, for other hardware platforms. I, I will show you later, a little bit later. And um Around two months ago, we started collaborating with uh, Guadalajara Connectoring, and we found that um, Bosch uh, has this uh, very, very um, magnificent sensor, the BM, uh, BMA688, 
Uh, so we start to think about how we can integrate this sensor into a uh, X node format. So after um, several weeks, we uh, designed the X node, this one, you can see it on the screen. And as you see it, here is the, the, the sensor. Here you can find here the microcontroller or the uh, la labels uh, adapters. And what is the most important for this? When we was start to looking for all the whole solution that Bosch offers, uh, we discovered that it's not only a sensor. I mean, uh, Bosch is offering all um, a lot of tools, I mean, software, hardware tools. Uh, this one, the BMA a Studio software that is uh, powerful. And, and also we found that um, uh, sensor tech Bosch uh, had uh, or provide a library on the repository, on, on his repository to use or this library is compatible with Arduino. And when we decide to start to doing some testing, I found that uh, Again, Bosch uh, already offered this development kit, but our, but our surprise is when we try to get it, uh, as you know it, because the shortage situation is really complicated to, 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 found, to, to find one of these four. But if you, if you can do it, um, around, uh, it, uh, it, it's a little bit expensive to get one of, of that the development board here in, 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 in Mexico. Um, we try to, we get a quote for one of these uh, from Europe and we need to pay around uh, $180. It, it's that probably for a company is not too complicated, but but for students or, or makers, uh, I mean, here in Mexico, it's, it's, it's a little bit difficult to get one of these. So we decide to analyze all this develop, the, the development kit and, and we found that uh, this, that board integrate eight uh, BME-688 uh, uh, sensors. And the reason is because when you try to, when, when you want to use this development board um, as logger, there is an, 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 a video on the, on the Bosch website, sensor tech, that you can see it, how you can detect uh, the gas from a cafe. And, 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 and they explain you about that is necessary. You have uh, several sensors because the samples that you need to get. So when we an uh, analyze the, the development board that you can find here, we start to think about that could be possible uh, replicate, not in, not in the same in, in the same way, I mean, not to copy the board, but thinking about we already have an uh, expansion, an uh, next node with a uh, ESP32, uh, MCU and also this development board. Uh, I think that the um, um, board that is at the bottom is from Adafruit, and also they are using a, 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 a ESP32. So in this case, we already have our X node, and it has the same features that the that this one. And because uh, and also we already have this uh, X node with the with the Bosch sensor. So. If we, if you think about it, will be possible to replicate this? Yeah, the answer is yes, because we only need to add. In this case, we only need to add another seven X nodes with the same sensor. And the advantage that offers uh, our X nodes is that you can connect in a serial mode or uh, stacking uh, one each of on the other models. So we we could uh, we could uh, join until eight or even more. So I think it's a, with this solution, we offer a modularity that is very practical because probably you don't need um, the eight sensor. Maybe if you are, if you are, uh, if you're doing uh, some tests, probably with uh, using six sensor uh, could be enough. But, 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 but uh, what happened if, if you need maybe two more sensors? If you use this model, you need to buy another development board 
but probably you don't need the other six, only need one more of the of the second development board. So in this case, there is no problem. You can you can add one each 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 and each, uh, uh, another and, and, and another and another as you require. So uh, right now, the the thing with this uh, develop development board is that uh, I think it maybe you can see it a little bit here is the micro e micro SD card. Our uh, ESP32 Xnode also has a um, socket for micro e micro SD card. For uh, the uh, the problem is that uh, we don't have. We, right now we are trying to join. I mean, if we are going to connect eight sensors, we need to get all the information from each one and then join all the information inside of this um, micro SD board and try to generate the same format of the development board from, the, from Bosch. So right now we are working on this. We are trying, and, 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 and as I told you, not only eight, probably 10 or, or, or more, or the number that you needed. That is uh, now our, um, that, why, that what are we doing here with our uh, with, uh, uh, design department that try to, to, to find uh, one, the, or modify the library from Bosch. I mean, this, the, the, the BSEC library. Right now we are using this compatible for Arduino and we are, we, we are thinking about to maybe offer two solutions. The first one is this, how to get, uh, how to detect when you connect an extra sensor and add that information and insert that information into this micro, a, micro SD card. But the, uh, but the other option that we are thinking and, we, and also we are, we are testing is this. Uh, what happens if you uh, implement this device on a remote place? And you cannot go to take off the micro S, micro SD, and put on the on the on the on the computer to analyze with BM AI software. So we are right now we are uh, getting or are, we are um, taking or uh, saving all the data information here in the micro SD, and then we are testing to to send the information to the to this IoT uh, cloud platform, uh, Blink IoT platform. Because it's really uh, easy, Blink is one of the all the um, new. When well, it's, it's not new, they they have around uh, eight years that they start to offer this platform. Um, they begin in, on, on Kickstarter, and but now uh, I don't remember, or I, I'm not sure if if three months ago they um, update. Uh, upgrade the second version of, of the platform, the uh, 2.0 uh, IoT platform. And now you can send, uh, it, it has a lot of, of improvements compared with the, the first one, because the first ones you only you only could um, uh, implement an application on your cell phone and, and that's all. But now you can send all this in, information to the cloud. So uh, now we are trying to reconstruct or create this the, this file on the cloud, the format, I, I mean in the, the file format, um, but, uh, when you are reading all these sensors and later to only the, uh, download the file and you can open it in your computer or in, in your laptop, uh, laptop and open with the uh, Bosch uh, sensor uh, software. And let me show you. Right now we are doing some uh, measurements. We have connected the um, one IO trainer. Let me change the camera because I want to show you. Okay. And as you see it, we have uh, one ESP32X node here, then the BM the BMA688, and then we add or include one RGB LID X node. And this is because uh, we decide to implement the quality air um, standard 
And if, if you see it on the screen, I have right now the measurements. All the all this is uh, doing because we implement the uh, library on the, uh, the 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 BSEC library from Bosch on the ESP32. So let me put something to change the quality of the air. I'm going to put here. It's a paint thinner. So let me refresh my dashboard. And as you see it, here's increasing, increasing the index of quality error. And as you, if you see it on the screen, the LID change uh, from green to yellow. That means that we have a, we we start to to have a poor quality on the air. And I retired the. Um, let me put a little bit of fresh air. Let's wait for a second. And meanwhile, stabilize the sensor. I I want to show you here the X nodes samples. And this is the best part. I can connect the X nodes using this small cables. I don't, I just need to connect. Like this, so when you connect this in this way, remember that you only have access to the I square C protocol. Um, wait a second, I think that the quality of the word change again is as you see it, it's again a green color. And also you can see on the screen. Okay, so if I decide to not connect using the quick the quick standard, then I can do this. For example, can you imagine that you need to integrate a very common, very common project? I mean that that you need to measure uh, temperature and humidity. We have here one sensor, and it's very common that you put that that, that when you get all the, the information, you want <clears throat> or you need to open or close an actuator. In this case, uh, we have here an Xnode or a couple of mini relays. So you only need to insert like this, and that's all, because you have the MCU here, the uh, ESP32 X nodes, the sensor X node, and the actuator. And when you connect like this, that's all, because you can start to measure the temperature or the humidity, and depends on the values that you need or your, your um, <clears throat> set point, then you you only need to send the command to open or, or close these relays, and you are connected here by Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, or even you can connect here by micro USB, emulating a virtual serial com. But also because the we are part we are working we are developing develop, de developing projects with Simcom company. What happen if maybe you need to connect for to a cellular a cellular network. And as you see it, I only use my hands and that's all. I have my, my proof of concept very quick. And let me show you the other expansion boards, models that we are we are working on. This is the previous versions 
to the final release. And we are preserving, as, 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 I, as you see it, we are preserving, preserving the, size, uh, the same size, same, same dimension. This is for Raspberry Pi Pi uh, Pico. But if you need to change, probably for MKR Arduino application, we also have this model. This is for um, Feather from Adafruit. This is the microbit. And this is for um, this is an, a, a, a breakout board from Microchip. The name is uh, Curiosity Nanos. The name of this breakout board, and also you can um, also we design the expansion board. So um, and this is not only the good part. The, the best part is that uh, I remember that I told you Micro E um, has uh, more than. Uh, 1,000 different clickboards that because we are using the micro bus standard, you can also use all that um, models. And let me show you just an example. Look at this. Um, if you go to Micro E website and you check on their products, uh, until today they have uh, around 1,052 different clickboards. This is awesome because uh, you can find uh, whatever you want, variable or sensor or, or actuator this place and this is the best part that you if you need uh, integrate different kind of sensors you can uh, select from here and because we are using as I told you the same uh, micro bus standard um, you can uh, connect all these click boards with our expansion boards and at the same and and this, it's the same with Smartphone, because also Smartphone is creating not at the same speed that Micro E, because Micro E is very precious because they uh, uh, they launch one new clickboard per day. Now, but a Smartphone also they have a lot of breakout boards. We only need to write here quick. And there is a lot of new sensors that probably if you could not find it with micro E, probably you, you can you can you could find with Spartan. And second, let me screen. For this part, uh, probably you uh, you know that a couple of weeks uh, of weeks around um, Bosch Sensor Tech um, announced that they have the, the this new Arduino breakout board. The name is Arduino Nikla, and this new uh, sensor board it has integrated four different Bosch sensors and it's it's it, it's in a in a, you, you can find it in a very tiny format size and this is the all the the um, the pinout diagram and what are the what are the options or which are the options that you 
that you can uh, find to use this uh, small new NICLA uh, sensor board. First one is that you can connect with each or every MKR Arduino and using this slot connection is something similar to Quick, but it's not the same. The slot uh, connector, it has five pins instead of four of the Quick standard connection. And on the, uh, and the other the other option is that uh, as you see it, this small NICLA sensor breakout board has castellate pins pins, so you can solder uh, on 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 at the top of the other uh, PCB board, or you can solder the male pins or female pins here. If you decide to put male pins like this, then you can use as a um, new generation of the Arduino shields, uh, but now with this form factor, very tiny. But um, again, I, I, we are trying to um, integrate, um, the, we, we was thinking two weeks ago about how we could integrate these new NICLA sensor models uh, with our um, ecosystem, with Excite. Uh, but uh, if you remember, uh, we, we, we have one option because we have the MKR Arduino expansion board. So if you decide to put your um, NICLA sensor like this, like shield, there's no problem because after that you can put the, the MKR Arduino into our expansion board. But it could, the, we think about how we can offer an extra um, possibility and we could do this. We can put here the Bosch NICLA sensors board at the top on uh, in our uh, to this X node, and we can route all the, the um, signals I square C, SPI, and UART signal to microbus because uh, if you see it uh, until now we are only using the I square C standard and UART standard, but in this way we can route. Or the uh, the SPI interruption and probably the he, the NICLA sensor has here a small input to connect a, an external battery. So we also can route this to here, and in this way we can add one extra option. And in uh, and the best part is is uh, we are trying to integrate all the ecosystems and not only to have one or two options, which is again, if we, in, we if we put here the um, quick connectors, we can integrate NICLA Bosch NICLA sensor with all the smartphone ecosystems. Uh, I mean the quick ecosystem. So um, this is all the presentation, and I don't know if you have any question. Thank you so much, Jesus. And if uh, someone has a question or a comments about the, the session, uh, we can put uh, them on the chat and we can read each question to Jesus and start the, the conversation, please. So, Gavino Perez uh, make a question um, in Spanish, but you can answer in English. Okay, Jesus, please. Sure. Uh, Gavino says, uh, ¿Cómo mejora el sensor las lecturas con el uso de IA en bebida? Okay, uh, to answer this is, as you know it, it has integrated, integrated the AI uh, each sensor has integrated this part, but it, the sensor has not double, double EEPROM uh, or internal EEPROM to log all this information. So to do this, to improve the, all the um, 
uh, measurements and then apply probably some algorithm or uh, AI algorithm that you need to do this. You need to first log all the data uh, into uh, micro SD. In this case, uh, if you are using the VMA, the uh, voice development kit, it has this uh, micro, micro SD slot integrated. So when you put, um, you press this button, start to getting all the information and logging into the micro SD. After that, after some time, then you take off the micro SD and connect to your computer, open the VMA AI Studio software, and then you then you you can open this file. Uh, the best part is that uh, when you have this file, you can create uh, some uh, algorithms. Uh, there there are you can find some uh, predefined algorithms and start to um, training and creating and some um, algorithm with uh, uh, to, 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 to define or difference. Uh, for example, there is a, a, a really good uh, a good video on the on the Bosch uh, website that you can you can see it. And they show how you take uh, samples from the uh, uh, coffee. Uh, in a, there is a, a small uh, container with coffee, then you put all the, this, this uh, the board and put uh, in during three minutes logging all the, the air. And after that, Press the button and start to log in another 30 minutes uh, out of the, the coffee. And after that, then you uh, get uh, at the, then put in another uh, jar uh, with a different kind of coffee. And after uh, uh, for another 30 minutes, and after that, then take out to, uh, out to the to the jar and, and again another 30 minutes. Then you collect all this information and then you open on the software and you can start to create all these uh, um, algorithms. And in this way, you could train all this information. And after that, you use the BSEC uh, library and export this uh, trained or the, this, this code trained. And you can download again on your microcontroller. And in this way, now you don't need to, to use the computer. Now you can use the uh, devel development board or microcontroller alone. And in this way, you can now to detect if you are sensing coffee from one brand or the other or the other brand. OK, thank you so much for your answer, Jesus. Uh, Gavino, if you have another question about it, you can put them on the chat. So I don't know if someone has another question or another comment about the session. Um, if it's not, I think uh, we already uh, could uh, end the session. But before that, I want to say thank you to Jesus, to Microsoft, to be part of this session and um, thank you so much for the community of Chicago Connectory for being part of this event too because is this our first event uh, that we uh, developed with um, Chicago Connectory and we we feel so happy to be part in community so also um, if you want to share this content with this content with someone, uh, we we will uh, upload the session in our YouTube channel that is Guadalajara Connectory. In case you can um, share this this video, and uh, I don't know if uh, someone has another question or another comment. If no, if it's not, uh, we are ready to finish the session. Thank you so much, Jesus, for, for being part of Connectory, for being part of this session. And uh, you already uh, have the contact of Jesus if you have an, an additional questions or additional comments, right? Sure. Yeah, and, and just to, to, um, before to end the, the, the session, just telling you that we are work, working really hard uh, to finish the, the, the you can find uh, on our website microsite.com and we on um, since the last week we add an extra option you can find here uh, at the top to the, the, the left side and there is uh, all the related information to, to our X nodes uh, 
Unfortunately, because the shortage, we um, have to to wait um, several months until to get uh, the microcontrollers that the AT tiny model that we are using. So that's delay uh, a little bit all this project, but um, but right now we have we have the samples. So we are working really hard to implement all the documentation. Uh, also, in in, in 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 right now you you could find it in Spanish, but we are uh, at the end of, of before the end of this month. It, 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 we are going to have all the information information in English and just uh, like an example. Let me open the BMA 688 and you can find here all the uh, X node information. Um, about uh, the hardware description, how does it works and this, the technical specifications, uh, the pinout diagram, how you can connect. The, the the forum difference um, modes and how you can use it. Uh, here uh, we are explaining very clear how you can uh, copy all these um, uh, simple commands. And the reason that we are that we put the driver integrated is because a lot of people or or or, or engineers or makers uh, when they try to um, test some technology and as a hardware engineer. I know that um, it's a very common today to find I square C protocol or I, I, I square C serial standard in all sensors, but it's not common for, for example, for software engineers or for software people. They, they most of the time they don't know what it, what happened with I square C. So that is the reason we implement this small uh, sketch into the microcontroller because with this you only you you can uh, test the. Um, the, the node. Let me show here. This is the the X node of the BMA 688 a, 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 a sensor, and this is an adapter. And if even if you want to test from your computer, you only put at the top of this uh, converter. This is only a converter from serial USB to uh, UART. So you just need to connect micro SD cable to computer and open a terminal serial uh, COM port and that's all. And for example, if you want to get the temperature, you only need to copy this. Uh, this command, it's very simple. We just need the ID, the ID, the X node ID. In this case, you could find here. So you only need to put uh, the ID. This then plus and this means get temperature and that's all you copy paste and and you, you can you 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 can use uh whatever uh, terminal serial com port uh, for example arduino and you only paste send the command and you get the, the answer and you receive a uh, 23 uh grade centimeters and that and that's all you don't need to to, to program even if you don't have a, a experience programming Arduino, it's very simple to do this because uh, probably you are more focused on program, uh, for example, C Sharp or something or, 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 or JavaScript or something like that. And you only need to implement this uh, serial interface interface or open a serial com port from your program and connect the X nodes. And that's all, you just need to send commands and you don't need to uh, learn to program firmware. Uh, I know that probably most people uh, think that Arduino is very simple, but I know that more that that uh, many people don't have enough time to learning even Arduino. So that is that, uh, this is very useful for all these uh, people. And if you are an ad user advanced, uh, you you are an advanced with more knowledge of hardware, then it, there is no problem. You can uh, get the information. Uh, the, uh, with a, with an, uh, the, in the native way using the I square C. In that case, you can go to the uh, data sheet, the technical specification from Bosch, and you can send the commands, the native commands. And just to, 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 to be clear, and we are adding all the tutorials here, uh, step by step. For example, here we are showing how you, if you want to send command or implement with Arduino, we are uh, putting all the tutorials with um, graphical graphic tutorials and maybe uh, 
we are um, we're not 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 mainly. We are going uh, also doing this with uh, small videos. If and if you have any questions related to this, you can uh, send me an email and and I and I'll, I'll answer as soon as possible. And thank you very much for your time. Thank you so much, Jesus, for the information and for the good news. Could you please share this link with the the audience of the the event, please, if you put the link on the chat. Sure. Let me put on the, on the, on the chat. Uh, this is our website, and also I'm putting the subdomain that is assigned to the excite and you can find all the information and also we are working to finish during this month again the uh, online store but um uh, also i i informed you that um connectory in guadalajara connectory will be an official distributor of this uh, technology x, x nodes and expansion board so Keep in touch with, with uh, Veronica and, and I, when we will be ready, she will send you the information when, when you could buy all these kits. Yeah, sure. Um, you're right, Jesus. And um, thank you so much for this additional information and for sharing the link with the community here in the session. And um, we want to put the, this link out in the a video on YouTube because uh, that person that consult the session um, after uh, could uh, be access to this information. So thank you so much, Jesus, again for your time. Thank you to Microsite and for be part of this session and for be part of Guadalajara Connectory. Thank you so much to the Chicago Connectory community and for the people to connect uh, from here, from Mexico and from Guadalajara too. Uh, my name is Veronica Rodriguez and see you on the next session. Bye. See you. Thank you.